Listen, I am so excited. The last time these girls were in Chicago, they came to the studio with us and I had on a blonde wig that time. Mm -hmm. I even sang background vocals and I was terrible, but we won't bring <laughs> that up. We'll talk about the fact that their new album, Ungodly Hour, is out right now. Chloe and Allie, how are you? Hi. Hi! We are magnificent today. We are so happy that our album is out for everyone. Woo. Yes, you know, this is an interesting time in the world, right, to release music. So how does it feel when half of the country is kind of still like shut in? But I think that could be a benefit because we have everybody's attention. Yeah, well, you know, I feel like God's timing is always the best timing. And we finished this project in October of 2019. And so I really feel like it was meant to come out now for a reason. And even though this is literally the ungodly hour, uh, we just kind of want to bring healing with our music. So I hope it like distracts people's minds from thinking about, you know, the overwhelming events happening today. Okay, we got to break down the title because, you know, we be saying the strippers be out for the ungodly hours now. Honey. <laughs> <laughs> ungodly hours, you know, you do some things, Chloe and Alice. So I know y'all get, I know y'all get older, but let's talk about the title of the album. <laughs> yes, exactly that. I mean, people do some things during the ungodly hour, and we wanted to talk about all of those things in this album as well. I mean, we're talking about our insecurities love our heartbreaks that we've had and all of the things that people normally would not hear from us the other side of us that they don't see so that's why we, we were really inspired to call it the ungodly hour because this is everything that people don't see this is what goes on beyond behind closed doors so we were very excited to bring them in in that way and also with the timing of everything it truly does like chloe said feel like the ungodly hour so we're just happy that the music is out to heal and you know what's so interesting about you two girls is that we're literally watching you guys grow up right in front of our eyes. And obviously you're becoming women. So you're not the little girls that we want, we once met. You're becoming grown women now. And I, I forget what a war show I was watching last year, but I was like, look at those bodies. They got some bodies on Chloe and Haley now. So how is that part when people, are you trying to break that mode of us looking at you guys as little girls and just appreciating you as grown women? Yes, you know, my sister's 20 and I'll be 22 in July. So we are young women. And I noticed that a lot of people who aren't very familiar with us still think we're teenagers. Right. Uh, but just like we evolve as human beings, our music evolves right with us because we're telling our stories and we're sharing our experiences. So it really does feel like we're growing up with the world and we love our supporters who have been with us since our YouTube covers when we were like young. And it, it's really special seeing how the journey and the ride has progressed. And we're so grateful to be here. And we're so happy people are loving the music and appreciating our evolution. Yeah, I started listening to Tipsy, um, listening to the album, and I said, okay, let me, let me find out. But what I love about you two a lot is you're so extremely talented naturally, right? I love the mashup that went viral of you guys paying homage to like TLC, Aaliyah, and I forget who it was a mashup. And, but it just goes to show like there's not a lot, there's no background vocals, just you and a piano and you guys just singing so angelically and it just it seems like it's so effortlessly for both of you guys thank you so much that's really sweet <laughs> yeah no it is because you know we're living in a time where talent talent is important but sometimes the marketing plan is more important than the actual talent so i love when both coincide i love when you have a wonderful marketing plan but when you're just truly truly talented so we're living in this new world moving forward like how have you two changed since let's start with the the COVID change will you still do meet and greets um are you guys more um cautious about just hugging people because of what we've been going through this year absolutely yeah oh yeah so i am such a big affectionate person and i'm such a hugger so at these meet and greets and everything when we'll be able to do those again you never know i hope there'll be like a vaccine or something one day uh, i just think i just want everyone to be safe no matter what we do no matter what they do so we'll adapt to the times and what we have to do right. forward. 
And then I do want to bring up, because you guys are two African-American women who represent so proudly what's currently happening in the states of the world. I can't even say America because the, the, the tragic death of George Floyd has been um, felt all across the world. And, you know, it breaks my heart what happened to him, but there's little joy that he did not die in vain because we see people rising everywhere, not just black people too, in every country shouting out loud, a change must come. As two African-American women with platforms, and I, I recorded the video, I saw you guys also did a video for Breonna Taylor. How important is it for you guys to shine your light and your platform on these issues? Well, it is so very important to us. I mean, as two young black women, we feel like it is our duty to stand up for our community and for what's right. I mean, these are our brothers and sisters. George Floyd could have been our father or our little brother. I mean, so we just have to constantly remember that and remember to lift each other up and remind our brothers and sisters that we are beautiful and that our black skin does matter and we will continue to stand up forever for that so of course we are very happy that everyone else is now seeing what our community has always been seeing happening to us um and we're doing everything we can to shine the light on what's important yeah i love it i love it so i mean are you two dating like what did you have corona booze because you know we've been locked in the house for three months and they said people had corona booze so did y'all have corona booze during this time <laughs> right now my corona boo is music <laughs> and god in the sun yes. <laughs> Absolutely. But, you know, if people want to hear the stories about our booze and stuff, they can listen to the album. <laughs> Cause yes, it's yes. On and I saw that um, Beyonce posted, and she actually posts you guys often when you have projects. Does that ever get surreal still? Or you're like, okay, you're used to it by now. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> All the time. I mean, it's Beyonce. And yeah. anytime we see that, we're always like, yeah, we're surprised every time because Yes, we may know her personally, but we are still such huge fans. And right. just like the rest of the world, we still freak out when she drops something. And when she posts our personal music, it means a lot because she lets us flourish on our own and create the music we want to create. But to see her supporting it the way that she does, it makes our hearts really warm. What's the best, what's the best advice she's ever given you to? The best advice she's given to us is just to be ourselves, just to continue going on our own path and that you know, what's meant to be will be. And we're so honored to be under her. I love it. So Ungodly Hour is available now. Before we go, Hallie, I have to ask you about the movie. Are you still proceeding with it? I know the world changed, um, but I believe it was a Disney movie, right? Yes, yes. I mean, everybody, we all collectively as a world are on pause right now, but I'm okay. so excited for when we start back again. I can't wait. Right, right. I can't wait either. So when you guys come back, you got to come back to Chicago because I've been, I'm going to get my voice together. It's going to be better this time. Like I promise I'm going to be, I'm going to be in tune this time. I'm so proud of both of you. What I love the most is right. There's so much joy of being black right now. Right. And I love that you two represent it just with your hair early on. I haven't gotten there yet. You know, I still got my, your well, I appreciate it, but I really do respect um, my sisters who have found a way to embrace their natural hair in the best way, and it's so beautiful, and I just um, truly enjoy both of you guys so much. The sky is the limit. You deserve all the blessings that you have. You're, I mean, 2022, there's so much more that you guys are going to accomplish, so... A couple years from now, I'm going to be a background singer for y'all. I'll be, I'll be, no, I'm going to be a background lip singer. We'll have somebody else say, I'm a lip sing the background vocals. <laughs> Ungodly Hour is out right now. I already downloaded. I'm, I got to tipsy. I got to get to some more songs, but I know it's going to be a hit. So much love to you two. Thank, Thank you. So have a blessed day. You too. Bye, girls. <laughs>